This video is to demonstrate a little bit more detail on the use of scenes and layers and their association in finishing your drawing. If you look at this model, we have three different unique parts. We have a top, a crossbar, and an end. I have two ends, but I'm treating those as one part since it's just one design. We'll open up the Entity Information window. If I click on the end, you'll notice that that is on, I put that on layer A. This one is also on layer A. The crossbar is on layer B, and the top is on layer C. So each individual part is on a separate layer. If you look at the IPB, or at the IPB, we have these three parts plus the text for the um, callouts on that part. If we look at the layers that are being displayed, we have layer A being displayed, layer B is visible, layer C is visible, and if I scroll down, IPB1 is visible, which is the name of this scene. IPB1 is the layer that contains the text for this view. If you will notice, we view the assembly view, and layers A, B, and C are visible, but IPB1 is turned off. It is not visible. So by putting things in unique layers and controlling which layers are visible and which scenes, I can create multiple views. Again, we'll look at the assembly view has just layers A, B, and C. If I go to the IPB view, I have A, B, and C, and the IPB view. If I go to layer A, or view A, only layers A and A text are visible. Everything else is invisible. And if you'll notice, this text is on a text layer. Likewise, if I go to scene B, only B and B text is visible. Scene C, only C geometry and C text is visible. So by using a separate layer for the text and for the geometry and turning them on and off at will, I can create multiple scenes and show different pieces of the drawing. This way you should be able to get the text to display and, and turn off in individual views of the drawing.